But let's go up to Queensland now and catch up with the founder and leader of One Nation, Pauline Hanson. Uh, Pauline, how are we going to get these uh, state premiers, Liberal and Labor, to actually open up this country? We've got South Australia today, Liberal government there. They still won't let people from New South Wales in, even though there's only one mystery case today out of 8 million people in the state. Chris, the only way you can do it in Queensland is we have to throw Anastasia Palaszczuk out on the 31st of October. That's the only way you will get the borders open. She is so bloody minded about this. She's worried about Tom Hanks. She's worried about the AFL getting into Queensland. But she doesn't worry about everyone else, me, you know, catching up with their families, the dying loved ones. I think it's disgusting what she has done. She is heartless woman. That's all I can call her. She is heartless. And how she's handled this whole situation. And um, I hope people are seeing through this. In her attitude, I'd rather lose the election than open up the borders. So if people in Queensland are prepared to give her another four years, who knows if she'll take the same stance as Daniel Andrews in Victoria and will we have the borders shut for at least another 12 months? Isn't the reality the opposite of that? Isn't it politically successful for her to be so tough and that it'll actually increase her standing for the election? No, Chris, I think it's turning on her, especially what's happened the last few weeks with people wanting to get into, this, into the state to see their loved ones. And, uh, you know, their parents have been dying or couldn't go to the funeral. Um, so I think it's really turning on her. People are actually seeing this now. Yes, people are scared about it, thanking her for keeping the borders closed, for, for protecting them, but I think the tide's turning. Last night on Paul Murray, he actually said about here in... Keppel and Rockhampton. Now, we were two-party preferred in the last elections here. The Labor Party dropped 9% in both seats. So Wade Rothery, our candidate in Keppel, has a great chance of picking this up because its seat is a marginal seat of just over 1% held by the Labor Party. The sitting member here, Brittany Lauger, you never see her. She's disappeared, so she's not on the scene. Torrin O'Brien, Rockhampton, great chance of picking it up. Barry O'Rourke, absolutely hopeless. He, he's, he's not performing. <clears throat> Cook, the seat of Cook, Brittany, that we have up there, Beaver, she's um, another another seat, marginal seat. So, And Mackay, that's another seat, Meribara, Therangawa, these are the seats that we have a very good chance of actually picking up. So people out there, if you want to see a change in the state, I suggest don't give your, give your vote to the LNP in these seats because they've got no chance of picking them up. And you've got to look at either One Nation or Labor. And if you put but, Labor in, you've got Anastasia Palaszczuk. But Anastasia Don't Palaszczuk is saying that she is merely putting Queenslanders first. She doesn't care about the Southerners. They can stay <laughs> south of the border. They don't come to funerals. They don't go to hospitals. Chris, She's standing up for Queenslanders. Now, this is a time-honoured tradition in your state. Surely it's going to work for her. What a load of bloody rubbish that is. Chris, I'll tell you what, the Rookwood Weir, OK, water security, she did not go along with the funding handed out by the federal government for years. Now it's double the price. Water has security hasn't happened here. All you need is 50 to $80 million for the Great Keppel Island Resort to go ahead. They, she will not do that. And that would actually create $1.5 billion development site, plus create jobs and, in, and um, indirect jobs, 6,000. So she's not doing this. She's not looking after Queensland. She's against coal mining. She's in, uh, she does nothing for rural and regional Queensland whatsoever. Well, so if, you're, if, your party, uh, if, if your party is, uh, holds the balance of power after the election, will one of your actions be, demands be, on day one that you uh, relax the border restrictions with New South Wales? I won't be leader of the party in Queensland, but I'll have a big say. And I will be sitting down with the members that are elected. If we are in that position, of course, we won't be government. But you sit down with the LNP and you actually say to them, OK, how do we go forward to move forward with Queensland? Because Will that be I one of your key Clinton criteria, needs, though? Will needs, that be your party's yes, key will, criteria? Because... Open up the border, at least to some extent, yes. with New South Wales? Yes. It will be, because we've got to get the state moving. You've got people now, businesses advertising for workers. A lot of people are rotting the system. They're quite happy to sit on JobKeeper and JobSeeker. On JobKeeper, they're getting paid, plus they've got another job. So this is destroying our economy. Businesses will suffer because they're going to lose their homes, their businesses. The, weak, the federal government cannot keep propping it up. There has to be an end to this, and people have to realise that.